Hi everyone. Today I've got something a little bit different from what I normally do. I have been looking for a new way to style my hair and sometimes I struggle with styling with a curling iron. Curlers have also been a bit of a struggle just to get that nice wavy blowout. I was having a peruse online because I've seen a lot of really expensive hot air stylers. There are a few other brands out there and for me that's just too expensive. I cannot bring myself to spend that amount of money. Listen, I got a mortgage to pay. All right, and rent. So I came across this hot air styler from Kmart. This was $35 and it looks like this pink color is relatively new. On their website, they have the original color, which is like black and bronze. I was reading through a lot of those reviews and it seems pretty promising, at least for the price, just based on these reviews. So I thought I would just give it a fair shot. I'm not a pro with hair, not a pro with styling hair at the very least. I do my own hair with everything else, with cutting, coloring, all that kind of stuff, you might be able to tell. <laughs> when it comes to styling, listen, I'll, I'll do my makeup and then I get to the styling part and I just, I CBF, okay? I need something easy. I need something relatively quick and I don't wanna have to sit in hot, with a hot curling iron for 30 minutes to do my hair and then I'm sweating and it's a mess. We're gonna open her up. Reading the reviews, a lot of people are saying to dry your hair about 80 to 90% of the way, 80 to 85, somewhere around there before you use it. So my hair has been drying for a while now. It's been up in this hair turban. So I'm going to apply, there's two products that I almost always apply when I'm going to use heat to style my hair. So the first thing is this, it's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. I almost always use this if I'm applying any kind of heat or anything. And then I actually mix it with the Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil. So I'm gonna do that now and see how dry my hair is, and then I will come back when it is mostly dry. A few moments later. Okay, so I think it's about 80% dry or so. I just tried to get a lot of the roots and the back of my head as dry as possible without getting the ends too dry. Oh, do you guys hear that? And that, kids, is called asthma. I'm gonna open this Bebe, Zuri out of context for 10 minutes straight. Opening this baby. Why am I struggling? We've got a little bag here. Cute, love it, love the pink. I just pulled it out of the box. This is how it's packaged. And it's not the fanciest thing ever, but it's $35. Like, do you really care about how it's packaged other than just protecting it from travel? There she is. I'm not really sure what I was expecting weight wise, but it's not very heavy, which is, uh, well, could be a good or a bad thing. Down here, you've got multiple levels of heat. So you've got two, one, cold, and zero. Let's plug this sucker in. Wipe the appliance with a dry cloth. After use, do not wrap the cord around the appliance, as in time, this may cause the cord to fracture. Coil cord loosely by the side of the appliance during storage. I definitely am guilty of that one. Um, use the cool setting to set the style for longer lasting results after drying and styling. Okay, hot air styler combines the benefits of a hair dryer with a flat brush in one appliance. Use high heat setting for initial drying and the low heat setting as the hair begins to dry and for styling. Use the cool setting to set the style for longer lasting results after drying and styling. Yeah, so position zero, oh, position zero is just off. Snowflake is cool, one and two, low and high heat. For styling hair, make sure your hair is 80% dry. Okay, so it actually does say that in the instruction manual. Take a section no more than four to five centimeters wide, place the appliance into the hair close to the roots, move the brush through the hair towards the ends. When reached, oh, well, English has failed a bit here. When reached the end of the section, start to rotate the brush inward, which will add the root lift. For even more volume, wind the entire section of the hair around the comb until you reach the root. Leave the brush in the hair for a few seconds when finished drying or styling. I'm going to um, loosely follow those instructions. Listen, sometimes it's just, it's best to learn just by doing. That is so loud. Let's start with, I guess I'll start with like a front section here and I'll start on the low heat. It is so loud, you guys. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Um. Okay, I think I'm too I'm gonna do this my own way, I think. Okay. 
Okay, first of all, do not touch. I don't know what I touched, but something up here burned me. So just be very careful. <laughs> or even if you have like a heat glove, maybe wear one of those. All right, I'm gonna try some different angles and just see how I go. Okay, I'm not gonna say anything yet. I'm just gonna keep going. I think my goal here is just to, I'm gonna get my hair dry, try and get volume at the top as much as I can before I focus on really getting like that nice wave. So I guess that's where I'm gonna put my focus first before I move on. Okay, so first complaint I have, I don't know how some of the other heat stylers are, but I don't like how the nozzle to change the temperature is all the way at the bottom because I can't ease, I can't really easily change it. I mean, I guess I could try to change it while I'm going. Like if I'm gonna go with one chunk of hair, go through it on high heat and then change it to cool to kind of blast it into place, it's not, easy to do that. I mean, having to use both hands and it's kind of a guessing game as to what, you know, depending on where, how my arm is. I kind of wish it was like buttons here, like at the hand. I mean, I don't know. I'll, I'll keep using it and just see how I go. My hair is nearly dry. Okay, so what I've done is instead of leaving it on the hot, now that it's mostly dry and it doesn't really need a whole lot of that heat, I am sweating now. I just turned it on the cool setting. You're not, I'm not getting cold air. Just being straight up, I'm not getting cold air. I'm just getting whatever air is blowing through it and there's still a lot of heat left inside. You know, I think for what I'm doing, that's fine. Okay, so my hair is obviously, it's pretty much completely dry at this point. There is a little bit more, maybe a little bit more body than normal, but I also probably need a little bit of practice using this. I also don't really have layered hair, so you're not gonna see the effects also this side. I'm actually gonna go, I'm gonna do one more pass and I'm really gonna try and get a nice wave pattern going at the bottom. It's, I kind of like how, it, what it's doing here, uh, but I'm not really getting that on this side. So I'm gonna go, th go over that again.
reason, this side of my hair is just not doing what I want it to do. But this looks really nice. I think it's because I've got, you know, my hair kind of parted to the side. So I've got lots of these different lengths of hair kind of falling on that side. I will say that I am also very sweaty. I think that is adding some humidity to this room because this is a very small room. I don't know if under normal cir circumstances it would be as foofy. I've got a really weird uh, curl <laughs> happening here on this side. I don't have the most body, but I think what I would do next time is actually not dry my hair as much as I did. Maybe leave a little bit of wetness at the top. See here, you can really see what it's done. Like I could see myself really getting the hang of this, making it look a lot better. And this is coming from someone who does not know how to style hair very well at all. Imagine how it would look if I actually had proper layers. What I'm gonna do, put my face on, see how this kind of holds up over the next, I don't know, hour or so. And then I'll do an another update and then I'll do another update maybe a couple hours after that just to see how it's lasted. I'm gonna get out of this room so I can get out of the heat and the sweatiness because that's probably not going to help. It is kind of frizzy at the top here though. That's the only thing. But again, I am hot and I'm sweating. So I'm gonna leave this room. Gonna do an update later and um, we'll see how it looks. One hour later. So I am back. It's been roughly an hour or so and my hair has had some time to cool down. <laughs> it was getting really hot in this room and it was really hard to judge kind of the final product. It's nothing amazing. I mean, there's still some frizziness, especially down here, but I also don't have layered hair. So I think the effect is gonna be really lost on hair like mine that's mostly one length. And I think the only reason why I get some movement here is because I'm parting my hair to the side, which I, I like doing with the color of my hair. So here, I mean, I love, I love this. I love what it's doing here. <laughs> and you can see when I did those extra rolls, I think that really helped when going back in with the low heat and just rolling it. So it definitely did something to the top of my hair. I think if I took some more time with getting the bottom really well and then doing the top, and also I think if I didn't dry my hair as much as I did, I think I dried my hair a little bit too much before using the hot air dryer. I think maybe I would have gotten some more volume at the top, but to be honest, I mean, listen, my hair is very fine and limp and sad. For my hair, this is this is as good as it looks sometimes. Like you really are not gonna get much better than this. So, so yeah, see this side, you just, it's it's lifeless um, because I don't, I'm not, I don't have anything happening here. There's no layers, nothing. So really here is where it shines and you've got the shape here, which is much more flattering. I think this is just convincing me to get some, get some layers cut in my hair. Also, yes, I am, I'm wearing a top. I think what I might do is try again. I'm going to use it again before I post this because I want to tweak my method a little bit and I want to I want to give it a fair shot. Although I'm pretty happy with this looks like for how long it took, which was not very long. I'm happy with this. I am very happy with how this looks and I could definitely see myself using it regularly instead of just using a blow dryer and then trying to curl it or flat iron it. I'll see you in the future. Several days later. It is a few days later. We are back for round two of trying this. I'm going to do it a little bit differently this time. I'm going to have my hair a bit less dried. I think it's about like, it's about like 50% dry at the moment. I mean, it dries pretty quickly because I have fine hair. I have applied product, the same thing I did last time. I use the It's a 10 in addition to the Olaplex number no. seven oil. I have brushed my hair, brushed it all through. So I guess I'm just going to start and do the same thing I did last time. I'm gonna start at the root and try and get as much volume as possible and then as the roots dry, I'm going to then, you know, start start getting that rolling in, that rolling motion in to really give it flippy blowout that we all love.
Okay, so my hair is mostly dry. There's still a little bit of moisture kind of in the back and near the roots. I would say so far going from about 50% dry, it's really not, as far as the, just the volume at the scalp, I can't tell if it's giving me more volume versus just using my blow dryer with my head upside down. That's normally how I dry my hair so it doesn't lay flat to my head, but it is already drying a bit more smoothly. It's not as frizzy as when I would just use my blow dryer, even with, you know, a brush. It's definitely not as frizzy. It still has more shape, but I'm gonna keep going. I'm going to keep uh, getting that nice motion down and keep playing around until it's completely dry. So I've mostly done a pass through just on um, just air, which is, well, it's the cool setting, but it doesn't, it's not really cool air that's coming through. If I remember from last time, this is kind of where it gets difficult because I'm starting to get warm. I feel like I'm emitting more heat than anything else. My hair is remaining a bit frizzy. I think what I'm going to do is take some of these pieces at the top and really focus on those on hot and try and really get a nice, you know, schloops at the front. So the heat definitely helps, but now I'm sweating. So I'm going to exit this room, <laughs> let myself cool down and see if this frizziness comes down. Cause it usually does once my, you know, I actually stop sweating, but it's pretty much dry. I've got a little bit of bounce at the bottom here, trying to show as much as I can. So I wasn't able to get quite the same curl pattern as last time, but I'm just gonna wait for it to dry and see how it looks. A few moments later. Hey guys, so it's a couple of hours later. I've just brushed my hair, which I kind of wish I didn't do that. I'm not getting the same vibe that I did last time. I'm also, my hair is kind of parted in the middle here and normally I kind of just do this, but I think I just didn't do the same thing I did last time I did my hair. So what I might do now, I'm gonna repart my hair in the middle. I'm going to try again. I'm really gonna focus on the front bits here and really getting that flip outward. I don't like doing this, but I really wanna try and get this right. So I'm gonna put it on two, just the hottest setting. See if I can get this kind of the way it was the last time I did it. So I don't know why I like did it worse this time than the last time. That is already much better. I have to say it is a lot easier, at least with my hair specifically, to use the tool after it's been dried and it's kind of defrizzed because I think the problem with right after my hair has dried and even been blow dried, it's still a bit unmanageable. It's still frizzy. This, this is epic. Like. My hair has never looked like this. <laughs> My hair has never looked this good. Like you guys saw that took me like a minute, a minute. And imagine if I had layers, it's over. It's freaking over. I mean, I don't really, I, I mean, I probably have some 
layering just in the front, just from breakage or whatever. Now it's kind of already falling out. So that is the sad part. <laughs> But again, it yeah, it doesn't have that cool shot. I feel like if I wasn't in a hot room, maybe it would be a bit easier to lock in the style. You know, if that cool shot actually worked properly, then that would be way, way better. But I feel like if I were just to not use it in the small room, maybe go to the bathroom that has a lot more circulation, maybe that would be better. I'm not really sure. Or, you know, use more of a hold uh, styling product, maybe a, you know, a soft hairspray or, or something. Like I'm not really using product that holds a style. You know, like I said, this, the It's a 10 just is more of a heat protectant. I, I don't know. I'm curious to see how long this lasts. I feel like I could find ways to make this last. I don't know. It's kind of already falling out now. Oh no. It's already falling out. No. I'm like, if I were to do this, if I were to shake it. It's kind of staying. It's kind of staying. I'm still really happy with it. I do have to say, the, so the last time I used the tool, or I guess the last time would be the first time, I noticed that my hair kept that style, that blowout effect. It kept it for like three days. So I am very impressed because normally when I blow dry and then I flat iron my hair, the next day I'll sleep on it or whatever. And the next day it's all kinked and you know, maybe the top is frizzy and the bottom's all raggly and whatever. But my hair didn't do that this time or the last time. And I suspect that this time would be very similar. I think maybe the trick is to use it once to dry. Once the hair has tr well and truly cooled down, go in and use it again. Because for me, it's just my hair is much more manageable. I couldn't really twist my hair into the tool when I had first dried it. It was way too frizzy. It was way too like sticky. I probably was, there was probably a lot of humidity still in this room from drying my hair that just wasn't allowing it to properly dry and smooth. I am very happy with how this is turning out and I look forward to improving the technique that I am using with it. And overall, from someone who is not a hair styling person and I struggle, I struggle with doing hair. Like I'll do my makeup, love doing makeup, but then it comes to anything else and I cannot be bothered. <laughs> like I will just throw my hair up in a banana clip. Like I'm, I'm just, I can't be fucked. So my final thoughts on this, it's great for the price. I am so, so happy with this tool and already the value that I've gotten out of it, assuming that it actually lasts me. I guess that's another thing. Will it stand the test of time? We shall see. And I'm more than happy to do an update on this once I've used it more. There are some things that could be better about it, more intuitive. For example, I really don't like that the heat nozzle is all the way down here. I would love for it to be up here, you know, where you really hold it, like near the fingers, near the thumb even. <sighs> it's not that big of a deal, especially with this one specifically because the cool shot, I mean, it's not really a cool shot, so it's whatever. If you're just a beginner and you want to start using these kinds of heat stylers, I mean, for me, I had never used one like this before. I am very, very happy with this. I can't wait to continue using it and just see how my hair looks. I mean, I filmed, I'll put some footage in here, but I filmed a video a few days ago after I had used this for the first time and I just, I was editing the video and just thinking, my hair has never looked this good. Literally ever. Like the style of my hair has never looked this good. I was just, I was floored at how I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't really see a difference, but then I'm, you know, re-watching the footage and I'm really impressed. So not sponsored. I am not affiliated with Kmart in any way, but I do love this and I love a deal. And assuming it lasts me, listen, it gets the job done for me and I'm happy with it. Let me know what you think. Have you used this? Are you thinking of trying it? Yeah, let me know. And I hope this helps you and have a great one.